guys, Evie here. Welcome to the third episode of my Shiny Nikki makeup series. In this series, I will cover more than 70 free guild makeup, UR set makeup, and special collaboration SSR makeup that Shiny Nikki will release in the future. Keep your eyes peeled for more makeup videos and tutorials if you're interested. This video will tell you everything about one of our newly released guild makeup brands, Airy. Apologies if I pronounced it wrong. I looked up online and still don't know if it's Airy or Eerie. First up, we have the Future Me, a pair of flared lashes. Cold Moon gives Nikki arched eyebrows, which I love. I use this eyebrow item a lot. Personally, I'm not a big fan of eyebrows that are too short, too thin, or pointed downwards, but we have too many of those in the game. That was just me though. If you like those, that's totally fine, and it means you'll have a lot more options to pick from. Burning Faith looks like a matte plum lipstick with darker lip liner and highlights in the middle to create definitions. But I just found out while editing its thumbnail that it actually has shimmers. So I guess Burning Faith is more like a metallic plum lipstick. Star Frost is a foundation item that paired pink with purple eyeshadows for a smoky eye look. Liquor is a dark chocolatey lipstick. Last but not least, a pair of grayish blue contact lenses. It's one of my favorite contact lenses in the game so far. It's just my opinion though because some of my friends hated them. What do you think? Next, I put Nikki in a set to show you an overview. Unlike Candy Street, Ari has two lipsticks. First up, we have Burning Faith. Although there's really not much to explain here, if you like this type of makeup style, I would say go for Ari because you won't find any other classic glamorous makeup that looks like this in the guild. Sure, we'll have more smoky eyes, more winged liners, or arched brows, but those have elements that make them less Classy compared to Airy. Showcasing the entire set paired with Liquor now. As I mentioned before, I'd say those gave me a little bit more K-pop vibes. These clips are meant to show you what the makeup set looks like with different hairstyles to give you a better idea of whether you should unlock Airy. I'm unlocking the set right now because I love the contact lenses and eyebrows too much. But if you're not into any of the makeup items we currently have, save up your guild coins because makeup brands are going to be more expensive in the future as we progress more in the game. Now we'll go over the cost of obtaining Airy. As you guys probably know already, when you try to unlock a set of makeup in the guild, you have to follow the order in which the skill tree is arranged. However, you don't have to unlock all the branches, which means it will cost significantly less when you only unlock the main route from top to bottom. I made this guide for Eerie. You can find copies of these in my Discord server. There will be two versions for each makeup brand, so make sure to read everything. For those who are only planning to get the cosmetic items, look for guides labeled Main Skill Tree only, like this slide shown right now. Check the cost under a certain makeup item to see how much it will cost and the cumulative stats you can gain from unlocking it and everything above. The images in my guides are high quality, so once you find the guides in my Discord server, make sure to download the original copy so you can zoom in and see each makeup item clearly. It will take 2-3 to three weeks for whales who maxes out every method of getting guild coins and are in the number one guild. By maxing out, I meant 5 free plus 10 bot secret mission attempts, in addition to donating all tiers of guild fund donations daily. Then for dolphins, players who would spend some gem and are in the top 50 guild. 2 times guild donation, meaning they would donate the first free tier and then the 10 gem tier daily. 5 plus 2 secret mission mean that they will only purchase 2 additional attempts every day. It would take dolphins about 4 weeks to unlock the makeup items. Finally, for F2P players who are patient enough only to get guild coins from free dailies, it would take about 5 to 6 weeks for you to get all makeup items. Now those are only estimates, and most of us lie between these 3 tiers, so they're for references only. 
Next stop, if you're only into ranking higher and higher in the arena, I suggest you ignore the makeup items you will get from each brand and only focus on the stats each brand will offer. You also have to ignore those attributes the game tells you on the cover of each makeup brand because those are not always true when you try to unlock all branches in a makeup brand. Look for guides labeled Unlocking Everything on the left for guides made for you. Finally, as I've mentioned before, don't trust the game since Airy offers you more scores for pink and green rather than purple and blue. Thus, it is more cost efficient to unlock all branches in Airy if you want to boost your pink and green stats. This is a list of cost of the stats when you unlock all branches in Airy. Lastly, it will take whales about 5 weeks to unlock all branches, dolphins 10 weeks, about 2-3 to three months, and F2P 13 weeks, which is 3 months. And that is it for this video. I hope my video was helpful. Are you planning to unlock Airy or Candy Street? Did my video change your decision? Let's chat in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe if you can. It will help me so much. Thank you for watching and your amazing support. See you guys next time. Bye!